Hello, welcome back. I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we're Jarhead and Ginger's Journey. Today, we're at Holiday World of Willis. Let's go look in an RV. Come on. Today, we're going to tour the Fusion Impact Edition 367. Let's check it out. It's a fifth wheel, toy hauler, excuse the road noise, as you can tell right down here we're on just off the highway here at uh, Holiday World of Willis. Let's go ahead underneath and take a look down here. It does come with the Onan 5500 generator. I was surprised to see that uh, tanks up front here instead of a uh, place for your uh, battery. So you got your your tanks in the bay next to your own generator. Here's your specs here, guys. Unloaded vehicle weight: 1, 000, uh, 13,120 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating: 16,970 pounds. Uh, G-rated tires and here's your tire information 110 PSI for your G-rated tires it has the equalizer system equalizer, equalizer leveling system right let's see what's in this bay here in this, this bay you have um, your uh, tank for your leveling uh, system and the brain, all the connections for your leveling system there. Coming over to this door, you have the wet bay, uh, the fusion uh, wet bay here. What I do like about this uh, section is right here it has uh, the nice soft pad that actually runs against the door frame here. Um, so if you do have any water or anything in there, it won't slosh around and get into uh, the other area. We do have uh, pass-through storage here that we'll get to when we get on to the other side as well. Slam latch doors, which is nice. Here is the uh, kitchen slide. It's the uh, cable slide. There's two cables on each side here. About an 18-inch slide come out of the kitchen area. You have Saloon tires. And as I said before, they are G-rated tires. This is going to be your 30 amp connection here. This is where you're, you'll dispense your fuel from. This door is currently closed or locked and I can't get in there. That's where you'd fill uh, your tank. And then this is your pumps for your toy fill station right here. Coming around to the ladder, it does fold up so it will fold away and you can walk up easily and get onto your roof. Now we're looking at the back side of the Fusion Impact toy hauler. Uh, you can see up at the top it does have an awning there, but I'm not seeing anywhere for a backup camera, so I don't believe this model is wired uh, ready for a backup cam. Coming around to the camping side, we do have the trifold stairs here and the first door. <coughs> friction hinge so wherever you leave it it'll stay um, pretty decent grab handle here to get up into the uh, garage area of the toy hauler we'll see that on the inside tour in a minute and here's your second slide on the camping side uh, this one is also the cable system and I would say that's probably a two foot deep slide maybe two and a half feet. Do have some nice um, external speakers here. So whatever you're listening to inside, you can pipe it to the outside as well. There is only one um, slide out on this side, guys. It's right here. It appears to be about 10 feet maybe. 
um, and it stops right at the slide there, right past the door. So that's uh, your slide for this side. Out here you have uh, a couple of 110 outlets there. This is the other side of um, the pass-through that we just showed um, from the other side. So there's a, a little bit of a look on the inside, guys. Got pretty good space, about two feet uh, wide and about 18 inches tall. Uh, this box is your, um, is your power cord there, so it wouldn't be here uh, necessarily. And there is also a touch light here um, for if we were hooked up to power, we could actually have light on uh, in, in the, the uh, garage area. So there you go. And this, this one, uh, your garage area here also has the slam latch. Uh, so it closes very easily, very nice. <clears throat> Over here is the spot for your battery, All right? So you have your battery or possibly uh, multiple batteries in there and then uh, a space to get into your other front jack there. It's got your Omni uh, Shield weather protection package. It looks like they're trying to tell you it's a four season. Um, but you'd have to do your research on that and make sure. And then we go back up here to the front. We do have the, uh, the nice uh, Rotof Rotoflex pin box here, guys. And the cap is really, uh, really interesting as well. You have three uh, nice looking LEDs on each side here. And this uh, uh, graphic, really pretty cool. That's about it for the uh, outside. So let's go on inside and take a look uh, what it looks like in there. Welcome to the kitchen with Ginger. Here we have a very nice deep sink, stainless uh, faucet, great cabinet space throughout this model. Furion microwave, stovetop, folding glass hinged uh, stove top, get that out of the way. Three burner stove. You have your oven here. And storage down below. Also, you have a Norcold gas and electric refrigerator freezer, double door. Very nice size. And it's cold and ready for you. Under the sink, you have nice cabinet space. There is a garbage can. There are pull-out uh, cutting boards to cover your sink. You have these drawers. They're not the soft clothes, but they're well built. Lots more cabinet space in here. And here's your entertainment center with your TV, your fireplace, which also doubles as a heater, storage above, storage right here. This TV is on a swivel arm, so you can uh, point it to however you want to sit. This model is equipped with a Thomas Paine Collection sofa. It's behind us is great windows. The center section, and then you have both ends have reclining seats with a lighted cup holder. And this is where your pop-in table would go. You can place your little table in there, have your beverages and food on it, and then put it away whenever you don't need it. Here's some more storage. And up above is a sleeping loft. And you've even got a little fan up there. Now into the toy hauler portion. This unit has a Happy Jack style queen size bunk bed. So the top bunk is up right now. So are the sofas, these sofas will come down with the system and make into another bed. And then the other bed comes down to about here. So you have two beds back here and then that uh, back section opens up for your patio 
and your um, ramp to get your toys in and out. This model does have the three season door so that you can have your screen or your glass in or just have it wide open. Here's some more storage up above. And you have a washer dryer hookup. And here you have a half bath. Right here as you're going up the stairs are all your controls. And here we are in the shower. Well, I am anyhow. Um, handheld shower sprayer. I am five, three and a half. So you can see if you're six feet tall, you still have plenty of room. Um, there's even a couple of shelves in here for your necessities and a seat so you can shave your legs. This bathroom has a medicine cabinet. A little towel rack for your hand towel. Sink. Three drawers and some more storage space. This storage spot is blocked off because it's uh, used for something underneath. And you have a porcelain toilet, plastic lid. Here we are in the master bedroom. You've got a nice king size bed, room on both sides to get by. Each side has this storage cabinet up here, nightstands on both sides. And then you've got all, look at all the storage space. It's great, you even have a hanging rod that goes all the way across and drawers down below. This side opens as well. Whoop. And I'll show you this drawer, nice and deep. Go. This bed for even more storage lifts up and it can stay up on its own so you don't have to worry about getting your fingers smashed or anything and it easily pushes down there's lots of storage under there also we have a an air conditioning unit here and in the toy hauler portion and it's ducted so that you can stay nice and cool that's the uh, fusion impact 367 edition walkthrough we'd like to thank holiday world of willis for allowing us to come on to their lot and to take up the space and time to film this. If you're still here, as always, thank you very much. Like and subscribe and leave a comment in the video if you don't mind. Again, thanks for sticking around to the end. We'll see you next time on Jarhead and Ginger's Journey.